Hey, I'm Chris from CB Productions and welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Wand Mask node. So here we are in Fusion and I'm going to go ahead and bring in a Wand Mask node. Now the Wand Mask node operates pretty much like all the other mask nodes. We've got an input for our footage. Okay, let's get this in one. We've got an output and an effects mask input. And just like all the other uh, mass nodes, if we add another one, we can go from our out to our effects mask of our second one, giving us this paint mode. So let's get rid of that one. Now the one mass node operates kind of like uh, kind of like a color picker in like paint shop. So if we uh, select our picker here, you can see as we go around, we are picking different colors. And on the controls themselves, you have show view controls, which is our little picker. We have the level for the overall alpha. We've got your typical filter and soft edge and invert like we do on other mass nodes. And our selection point is our actual selection point that we're moving around. Now your color space, this is where you choose which color space you're going to be using to uh, do your color picking. You've got RGB, HLS, YUV, and labs. So it just depends on uh, how you're picking your color, which, which you use. Some work better than others for different situations. So we'll go ahead and leave that in RGB. Now your channels, you can pick what channel you're actually picking from, from RGB, red, green, blue, or alpha, and that depends on what channel you're on. So you can pick your lightness, saturation, all that stuff. So your range is going to dictate how much color around that area it's picking. Now what I want you to notice is the difference between say this and like a bitmap node it's not picking the overall color. It's kind of like in Photoshop where if you're doing a selection or picking color or painting color, it's going to go off of these hard borders to stop what it's picking. So if you notice, it's not picking up these reds around here, just the reds within this area that we're picking. And if I needed to pick up, say those reds, what I would have to do is get my red level. paste this color, put this into the input, and let's get a uh, multi-merge. Turn this up in one. And if I go to this wand, I would have to pick this red color. Yeah, you need to watch that because that should be in our input and this should be going to our mask to add if you wanted to add but you don't you don't have to if you're doing a multi-merge but you can see we just added that by picking uh, this wand and picking the sleeve now you would have to do that for every individual part but the problem with this wand is let me go ahead and delete that is once I hit play you can see our picker stay in there so it's only picking where it's at so let's change it so in order to stay on this red I would have to uh, go here keyframe the location go to where he moves move my wand picker and I would have to do that for all the footage so to make sure it's staying in that red and find my spots where it's not change my color picker and yeah, so you, you can see uh, this could get tedious after a while. So there's other nodes that do a better job of just picking out that red to create a mask. And we've gone over those. But if you wanted an effect like this, you, you could. And uh, well, let's make one. So let's delete this and let's grab some other footage here. So we've got something with a little more color going on. 
input this. So let's add a one mask. And connect it to our footage. And let's bring this up in our first one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some keyframes through here, but not every single one, because I don't want to capture every one. And I'm probably gonna use YUV for this, just to pull a little more information. And I'm gonna add a keyframe. I'm gonna go to the end, find my color, go to the middle, and I'm not gonna do every single frame because I really don't want every frame to be perfect. So I'm just gonna half this up to uh, kind of get the effect I'm looking for. And there we go. So now if I push play, we've got that going on. But if we get a merge note and let's get original footage there and let's grab a color correct, pump that in. mask put our color correct into our input our input let's get this one in the first one change our color up just find a yellow and we're going to input that in and we're also going to add a blur and we'll blur it up a little bit merge node what we're going to do is just hit the screen and we'll go to our levels and bring it down so now we'll watch our original and our other one and you kind of get this effect so instead of it just being kind of this boring footage you can see we're starting to get these highlights coming around here and all we have to do is go in our color correct and we can up our saturation change our blur a little more and there we go just adds a little additional effect going on to the footage and you can change your color up if you want just go in the color correct Give it some blues or greens. And there we go. That is the wand mask tool. So have fun playing with it and I'll see you in the next episode.